Okay, now I'm gonna let Chewbacca talk here. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Katherine Constant, and I'm the author of the book, Lady Wisdom Speaks. Well, today I wanna to talk to you about joy. Yes, joy, joy. Joy is a daughter of Lady Wisdom. Joy was also birthed out of Lady Wisdom. And I want to share this information with you. On uh, number 51 in my uh, book, Lady Wisdom Speaks, um, it says, Joy, a child of Lady Wisdom. Deceit fills hearts that are plotting for evil. Joy fills hearts that are planning for good. Proverbs 12:20. I love joy. I think of joy as a woman. She is a child of Lady Wisdom. Joy has a way of spreading her presence in situations where hopelessness may be found. Joy teams up with her sister Hope and can change situations. Hope makes us not ashamed because we know that whatever good we are planning can come to pass. Therefore, we are filled with joy. Deceit is joy's evil counterpart. Deceit teams up with lying, cheating, to fill up a heart to get what it wants. It uses pretense and dishonesty to accomplish its goals. We must look at our motives and attitudes. Working from a heart of joy brings lasting satisfaction to our lives. Joy, a child of Lady wisdom and I wanted to share this with you because I saw this video with this lady she's called the Chewbacca mom her name is uh, Candace Payne and she went to Kohl's to return a uh, yoga pants that was too big for her and while she was there she saw this mask um, she decided to buy the mask and the mask when she went to her car and put it on she started laughing because from the mouth of the mess every time she would open up her mouth uh, it would make this sound and she was a she is a big Star Wars fan and she started laughing and laughing every time hallelujah and it was just so much joy and the people just caught on to that she showed it on Facebook and her Facebook um, went viral she ended up getting 24 million people watching her video and laughing with joy it was so good and our world we need joy we need joy in everything that we do we need to find the joy in in everything every day we need to find that piece of joy and just enjoy it savor the moment moments of joy it, to me, it's like looking at the moments of gratitude. What are you thankful for? And when you become thankful, when you have gratitude, when you are happy about the little things, then they all mount up together and it fills your day, your life, your heart with joy. Now, that is what I want to give to you. Um, I want to give you joy. I want you to experience joy, to have those joyful moments with me when you are with me, especially when we're in the garden.
why I call it Lady Wisdom's Garden. And I shared with you a painting, Lady Wisdom's Garden of Joy, because every time I'm in the garden, I just feel so happy when I feel, when I see and I sense and I smell the beautiful fragrances of the flowers, when I hear the birds chirping, when I um, smell the roses, hallelujah, when I feel the breeze, when I see the sun shining, it just makes me happy and it fills me with joy. And I want always to share that with you, the joy of the Lord. And there's a Bible verse that says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And I know that we can get joy. Hallelujah. We can get joy and have joy and joy will then give us the strength that we need to deal with everyday moments to deal with the things that come our way and sometimes negative things will come our way but because we're so filled up with joy that they can't last they'll just have to bounce off of us that evil will just bounce off because of the joy of the Lord that is on us and the joy of the Lord allows us to war against the enemy and negative thoughts, ne negative things that will come to attack us. Because we're full of joy and laughter, we are able to overcome evil. Hello and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy Art Gallery. My name is Dr. Catherine Constant and I am the author of the book Lady Wisdom Speaks. And here is Lady Wisdom. She is strong and capable. And she loves to walk through her garden, her garden where she meditates. And she also uh, likes to paint and look at the birds and the butterflies. She meditates as she looks into her pond. She loves shoes. She has a large collection of different styles and her daughter Lady Grace is full of love and light. She loves to walk through the paths of her garden and just see what nature has produced. Look at these beautiful flowers. Here is another daughter of Lady Wisdom. She's growing up strong and beautiful. In the Garden of Lady Wisdom, you can find strength and you can find joy. Visit my website, ladywisdomspeaksacademy.weebly.com for more information. I know that you love when my daughter and I, Karen and I, Glam Fun, when we come together, we are always laughing. We're always having a lot of fun. And she is such a joyful child. Um, and that, that joy just bubbles up. And I know that you love joy. I, I know you love that about um, us when we are together, Glam Fun and myself, when we're together. <laughs> we just laugh and laugh and have a great time together. And I want also that when you are with me, that you feel that joy, that you feel the joy of the Lord. When we're going into the garden, when I'm even talking to you, I want you to experience joy. And I want you to know that the kingdom of God is made up of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Part of your Christian walk, part of knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is having joy. Joy. Whenever you see joy manifesting or people are happy and joyful, that is heaven coming down to earth because the Lord gives us joy. That's right. Joy, joy. And there's nothing like Jesus' joy. There's nothing like it. Hallelujah. When you feel joy, when you're happy, hallelujah, that's a little bit of heaven coming to earth. Hallelujah. And so when I share with you, I want you to feel that joy. I want you to know that I want you to feel the joy of the Lord. I want you to feel the peace of the Lord because that is heaven coming to earth. So when we pray, 
I want you to feel peace. Yes. And when I share with you um, the garden, I want you to feel joy. Hallelujah. defiant joy a joy that says regardless how I'm programmed or I'm used to responding or I've gone down this track so long that's my natural norm I want to see people figure out that they can live with the joy that is present in every decision regardless what comes their way hello and welcome to lady wisdom speaks Academy my name is dr. Katherine constant and I'm the author of the book, Lady Wisdom 
speaks well today I want to talk to you about joy yes joy 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 is a daughter of Lady Wisdom joy was also birthed out of Lady Wisdom okay now I'm gonna let you walk and talk here because <laughs> <laughs> I saw this video with this lady she's called the Chewbacca mom her name is uh, Candace Payne. Have you ever felt as though you've had a moment where you just kind of walked right into an open door to your destiny? But I felt like that happened. I felt like our world really needed a laugh. Okay, now I'm going to let you walk and talk here. <laughs> and I want to share this information with you. On uh, number 51 in my uh, book, Lady Wisdom Speaks. Um, it says, Joy, a child of Lady Wisdom. Deceit fills hearts that are plotting for evil. Joy fills hearts that are planning for good. Proverbs 12, 20. Is when you know who you are and you can laugh at everything that's good and bad about you or indifferent. I really think the moment that you just confidently know who you are and quit comparing yourself to the other person next to you, I think that leads to these incredible joys. This topic of joy is a very important topic for me and I believe that it is necessary that you have joy in your life. Hallelujah. And in my book, I wrote here, um, joy. Deceit fills hearts that are plotting for evil. Joy fills hearts that are planning for good. Proverbs 12, 20, TLB. Lady Wisdom asks, do you want a joy-filled heart? Planning good things brings hope, and the byproduct is joy. Good opens the heart wide to receive positive energy. Creativity and solution-filled activities Direct good energy to bring about answers and innovation. It is like electricity, which can be used to destroy or to build up. And what I'm saying here is that the product of joy, the joy's product, what you will get for having a joy-filled heart and a joy-filled environment is a lot of productivity, a lot of energy that you can do things. Just like how I've been able to paint while I'm in the garden because my heart is full of joy and I'm sitting there and I'm taking in the scenes of the garden and just feeling happy and relaxed and peaceful then I'm able to produce that and that's why I'm able to produce the artwork um, the paintings and the different things that I'm being able to do the planting and the gardening and so forth it's because it's come out of a heart full of joy and you can be productive too you can produce um, when your heart is full of joy and I just want to pray with you because I know that it's hard sometimes to have a joy-filled heart but when we ask God to help us and to fill our hearts with joy he will do that for us so let us pray Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus, and we're asking that you will fill our hearts with your joy, with your love. You said that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And Father, right now we need some joy. We need some strength. So we're asking that you will fill our hearts with joy. Give us a joy-filled heart. And then, Father, I pray that you will affect our environment around us, that that joy will infect, oh God, all those that are around us, even like how um, that woman, um, Candace, did with her, her laughter, how it infected everyone. And it was so much joy that it filled um, the world with laughter for a moment. And um, 24 million people were touched by laughter, by joy. And so, Father God, we want those joy-filled moments to happen, hallelujah, in our lives. So we're asking you, Lord, just to have mercy on us and to just look down on us and to fill our lives with your joy and your peace. And we know that you will do it because you could do anything. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. 
Well, I know that joy is coming to you right now. So receive joy in your heart. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <laughs> like this video then like share and subscribe comment down below where was the last time that you had a joyful moment and what caused you to laugh what was it that made you feel so excited that you just wanted to just smile or it just gave you a nice warm feeling inside um, write it down comment down below what was that moment and then um, how are you looking for joy? Um, what are you doing to bring more joy and love into your um, environment, into your atmosphere? And Lady Wisdom wants you to know that you are wonderful, you are beautiful, and you're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine and let joy bubble up and rise up inside of you. Yes, she wants to come on out. She wants to be a part of your life. Yes. So, um, Lady Wisdom wants you to know that you are loved. Yes. That Jesus loves you, and I do too. Hallelujah. And see you next time on Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Bye. Okay, now I'm going to let Chewbacca talk here. <laughs>